Hi, singles, all signs. Today I'm asking spirit what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, any clues, any evidence, anything spirit wants to share with me. Manifest with me, confirm a connection that's come into your life. Let's see what spirit wants to, you to know. I have maturity, um, not necessarily maturity that you're old, but it did come into me as there's an age difference. OK, so somebody is older in this connection. It could be an older person. Um, there's an age gap. They're saying maybe you feel like it's a significant age gap, but it really doesn't matter. You're both adults and the age gap over a period of time is something that you might even joke about or it doesn't really even matter. But it did come into me as some kind of an age gap between the two of you. So that's okay. I have a gardener. Let's plant the seeds. Let's see where this goes. I like that feeling. I like the feeling of I want to put in the work and over a period of time, I want to see where it goes. I want to watch it grow. So I think that's important. I have a sacred woman that's coming into me as they appreciate your spirituality, that they like the, um, the time that you put into your own spiritual growth, how you think spirit just said, how you act, what you believe in. So the things that are important to you, this person is going to be very attracted to. I really like that. Bottom of the deck, I have boundaries. So this person, they just said, are going to respect your boundaries. So that, that's a bonus. They're going to respect your boundaries that you set up. Let's see what else they're saying. Spirit, please share with me. My name's Kathy. Welcome to my channel. Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. So grateful that you're here. Let's see what we have. I have a 10 of cups. Happy home, happy life. We could be really, really happy and content with this person. This could be the person that we've been waiting for. So I could be really happy with this person. Queen of Swords. Uh, that just came into me as I'm making up my mind that I'm going to deserve nothing less than being happy. I'm going to settle for nothing less than a fulfilling love, a true love. So we've got this true love co connection coming in. And I really like that. I really like this um, one. I want to say the power of the queen that you're taking on your own power. And you're saying, I'm going to settle for nothing less than true love. 11, 11 on the clock when I'm recording this. So I'll take that 11, 11, um, nine of swords, let go of the worries, let go of the fears of meeting the wrong person, or this isn't the right one, or is this going to work out? You know what you want. You know where you're headed. You know what you need. So just focus on that. Six of pentacles, more give and take in this connection. This is going to be a more, um, I even want to say that this person is much more giving than anybody that you've ever had in your life before. And it doesn't have to be a gift giver, although that would be nice. Um, it could be somebody who just gives their time, their attention. What is it that you need? Can I help you with anything? So this person is much more giving and caring than any other connection that you've had. So I really, really love that. I have a king of pentacles. They're substantial. I'm going to say it that way. They've got something to give. They have something to offer. Also, they are reliable. They are consistent. They are going to be there for you, Spirit just said. So these are all beautiful energies. I have a moon. Now, I do want to just put that out there as the thoughts that you think about or your intuition that's guiding you or um, what it is that you want. I guess I just want to kind of open that up to the universe today and I just want to release it. And I want to say, spirit, bring that to me. Let's get into some clues. I'm going to, um, I'm going to grab just a couple of clues, see if they have any meaning to you. And, um, I will create a part two and I'll get into some initials. And, and if this is connecting to you or you're interested in this reading, you can continue with part two, but let's see what else they're saying. I have a gamer. Now I don't feel like this is somebody that um, is constantly gaming and that's all they do, but they could have grown up with gaming or that could have been part of their childhood and they still do it and they still like it and they still are active with it just for a mind kind of releasing energy, um, just for something to do is how it feels. I have a handyman energy. They could be good with their hands. They could be good at building things, fixing things, repairing things. That could be nice. I have a 
a storm. Now that's coming into me after the storm. Okay. After, after breakup, after a, um, a difficult situation in one of your lives. So this, this energy comes to you. I have take me away to this exotic island. Almost a feeling of our first vacation, our honeymoon, our first trip together. We're going to go on a cruise. We've been talking about going away. Um, so that feels good to me also. Did I just say cruise? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I do that all the time. I'll say a word and then spirit will give me the card um, that says the same thing. I just, it's like a little game I play with spirit. That was fun. Thank you, spirit. And I have bakery. This person has a sweet tooth. This person has a sweet tooth. Um, how about they're just going to be sweet? How about they're going to be friendly and sweet and kind and good to you? That would be beautiful. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. I'm going to continue with this reading in part two. I will put the link above. Hit that like, subscribe, comment. If you'd like to book a private reading, I'll put my website below. We'll see you in a moment.